everybody, this is Butt Sanchez, the only YouTuber that made you realize you never had a better time on YouTube. Until now. Last episode, we did the Color Dungeon exclusive to the DX version of the game. And today, we're actually... I guess if you look at this, it should look like we're going to level 4, but we're actually going to level 6. And I believe I briefly mentioned this in the last video, but I'll iterate again. Essentially, after you beat level 4, a ghost will come and... I wouldn't say possess you, but more just follows you around the island of Koholint. And he's very annoying. He won't let you go into dungeons. He won't let you go into ca some caves. He won't let you uh, do some things. Like, I think you can't get the Mamba song, the level 2 song for the Ocarina. And you have to basically waste 10 minutes of your time going around trying to find his house. And then you... Take him to a grave, and then you get rid of him. It's just a big pain in the butt. I don't have time for it. No one has time for it, so we're not going to do that. And that's just how it's going to be. No one's going to do that. Whoops, went the wrong way. So, I'm going... Oh, I don't think I've ever seen that happen before, but... First thing for everything. Anyway, we're going to go to Animal Village, and I don't know why I'm not using the Pegasus boots. Make you run a little bit faster. Now, I remember, for some reason... Trying to locate Animal Village, I could not find it as a kid. I just remember going around and around and around in circles forever. And I was too stupid to go to the library in the in the game and look up the world map, because there is a atlas of the world map there. I don't know why I didn't do that, but eventually I found it, and now I'm here. It's just whatever. Animal Village, I just remember spending a long time. The kid I carpooled with, I'd ask him, how do you get the Animal Village and all that stuff? Anyway... So this walrus here, I'm just going to unlock this now and probably get the key while I'm down here because I just wanted to get that spot unlocked. I have to go north anyway. But this walrus here is also a big pain in the ass. He's just as annoying as the ghost. He doesn't get out of the way. So what you're supposed to do is go find Marin on the beach west of Animal Village. You got to riz her up and go on a date with her. And that's what the game says in the American version, a date. And then you got to bring her all the way over to this walrus, who then sings her song, and the walrus kind of flops around for a bit and falls into the water. We're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to do the event skip glitch, whatever it is. I, I have to come up with a name for it. This one's a little technical to do here. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to pause buffer a bomb, so when I unpause the game, I'm going to hold B, walk diagonally up into the right. It has to be diagonally up into the right. When I transition, I'm going to pause the game and then drop another bomb and keep holding up and right. And if this goes correctly, I will then be able to uh, get the... I'll play the song and the walrus will fall in the water. And then a, a bunny or something will come and take Marin away from you, even though Marin's not in the game. And then if you're not in the correct subpixel pos position, you'll soft lock. So I'm going to save this and try this. Yeah, I'm going to try this right now. Actually, I got that. I don't know if I'll be able to get this, but we'll see what happens here. I was kind of expecting to drop a bomb a little bit later. Maybe I'm a little bit too close to the edge. So maybe I should be about one pixel further to the left. We'll find out if this works. Nope, that didn't work. So let me try that again. Maybe one pixel. I think that's about where I want to be. So I'm going to pause buffer. The start. Keep holding up and right bomb. Now, if everything works correctly, I should be able to just hold left here after the walrus kind of knocks about a bit. I think he jumps about six times where he falls in the water. Like I said, there's two events that happen on the screen. The walrus falling and then the bunny coming to take Marin, who's not here. So hopefully this worked. Okay, I think I got it. Oh! Okay, nice. I got it. So I was one pixel too close to the edge there. Now, one thing to note when you do this glitch, notice on my input display, I'm pressing A and B, start and select, and nothing's happening. That's just one of the byproducts of this glitch. So to get rid of, well, reset your state to be more exact, I have to go into a cave, and coincidentally, there's a cave just right of this like kind of mini boss in the desert up here. So I'm kind of defenseless right now. Okay. Now I should be able to do whatever I need to do. So I'm going to not get my bow out because I want to keep the arrows. And I'll fight this boss here. 
If I had more arrows, I would use arrows on this guy. I think you like to use two arrows to kill him, but with a level two sword, I mean, you saw it only took three hits. Grab the key. Hopefully, I don't. I'm gonna hold B. Nope, didn't fall. I fell in. That's too bad. Oh, that's not a big deal. Uh, I guess I'll show this off. There's actually a. Uh, you can't tell from here, but there's a hole in the wall right there. Well, bombable wall. And what's in there? It is a piece of heart, which I do not want. There's no reason to get a piece of heart in this playthrough. So I'm just gonna come over here. I believe the owl comes and bothers us over here. Yep. Can't really get past that. Kind of do level six out of order. I normally wouldn't do this. So I have to go to level six. There's two places I have to go. I have to go to the southern shrine and then the north shrine, which is the actual dungeon of the game. Okay, so let's put the boots on, I guess. Kind of speed this process up a little bit. And just like that, we're kind of over here. Aaron's not here, even though the bunny apparently kidnapped her, but who really knows? Such a bizarre glitch. I don't know how people figured that out because it's frame perfect, but I mean, if you do buffer inputs, it's not too bad to do like you saw there. Just kind of a strange glitch. I don't know how people find a lot of glitches in most games. It's just unusual or people just have too much time just trying to bake the game. What we should do is hire these people for QA in a lot of software uh, companies. They can probably find anything. Anyway, this is the Southern Ruins. Uh, these Arbo statues, I believe, normally do about two hearts of damage if you touch them. I have the blue tunic, so I'll take one heart of damage. And you're, they're immune to your sword. So very annoying. I'm gonna get the feather out. Yep, okay, so they did one heart of damage there, and that's with the blue tunic, so... These things are no joke. You wanna... Whoa! Be careful with them. I found out when I was playing this game with Bow Wow a couple, like, in my playthroughs, earlier playthroughs. Bow Wow, every time he eats one of these armor statues, they drop a uh, arrow, which is kind of useful. Because I thought the only way to fight this, like, little mini boss up here is to use arrows on him. Twelve arrows, to be exact. I did count. It's ridiculous. But no. You don't at all. You can actually just dash into him. I'm going to show the kind of the weasel way to do this. Actually, I need, what am I doing? I need the boots here, not the shovel. I do need the shovel, but I'll show you what I'm doing. I guess I'll explain what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of charge up the Pegasus boots. And the second Link pulls a sword out like that, means he's dashing. I'm going to put the shovel on the boots. I'm going to unpause and hold B. And as you can see here, Link's in this kind of state where as long as I don't move, I move there. As long as I'm not moving... Link's considered in his dashing state, even though I'm not moving at all. So because of this, I can actually get this, like, this boss up here to kind of just uh, attack it or kill itself. So, okay, unpause the game and just kind of sit here. Because he can actually use the Pegasus boots to hurt this guy. Look at this. He's already dead because of the level 2 sword. How funny. <laughs> Three hits. Oh, for a second I thought it was soft, like I was about to crap myself there. But, oh well. Uh, I'm not going to go in that northern... Well, actually, I'll just go in the room to show it off. It's a dark room. You actually have to use the magic powder on here to open, to read the, the wall. I'm not going to do it. For one, I can't read kanji. And two, I already know what it... It's basically saying the premise of the game. It's just saying you're inside of the wind fish's dream and you got to get all the wind uh, instruments to wake the windfish so you can get out of the nightmares. Because, uh... Basically, the windfish is in a giant nightmare right now. It's where all the bosses are nightmares, why the boss keys are called nightmare keys and whatnot. Not a very fun thing. I'm kind of curious. I wonder if I can... Eh, maybe not. I was... Nope. kind of curious if the, uh... Whatever those magic powder can do something to the armor statues, but I guess not. No, and I, I gotta be careful here. So I'm gonna save state because I don't trust myself. I can never be too careful. Apparently, you can just bonk them and keep them in their statue state, I guess. I don't really know what you call it where they're not attacking. I'll call it statue state because they're kind of statues. Now I gotta be careful. Of course, there's these. This monster right here, the little red undescribable, indescribable thing is probably one of the worst monsters in the game. 
it's almost not worth trying to fight those things because they almost always dodge your attack and then counterattack with a bomb to your face. It's not fun to do at all. That's our destination right there. It's that little island. Now, I may have noticed the island is surrounded by water and we don't have the flippers as we get the flippers from level four. Getting kind of lucky with my heart drops here. Maybe I don't have to go... I'll go do it. Need a health refill. There's a fairy right over here, which I will do. Can't be too careful, I guess, even if you have the blue tunic. So I don't have the flippers, so I have to do a glitch known as Jesus Jumping. based, And the name is based off of, well, Jesus walking on water, I guess. So what I have to do is I have to jump in the water, and when you hear, like, the sound of a splash, kind of like Link dropping a hammer in the toilet, that's when you know you uh, did the glitch correctly. So it's kind of similar to the, the pit glitch, where you jump in a pit and wait for the sound effect. So i got to listen very carefully to this. The puddle splash sound is quite faint, so bear with me. Oh, that was too early there. Keep pause buffering. Okay, there was the splash right there, so I'm gonna unpause and hold down and the feather button to jump. Whoop. And just like, oh, come on. Oh, now I'm in soft lock, so no, we can't have that. So I'm going to go down to the left and do this. Am I screwed? Seriously, I think I just screwed myself. Yep, I screwed myself. Well, I guess I can... I'm gonna have to save and quit. Normally, if you're playing this game, speedrunning it, you can't save and quit. Because it's, uh, I was uh, pretending on, uh, intending on doing no save and quit category, but I guess sometimes you can't have everything work. I was a little scared there. I thought I had to restart the stream, but we'll try this again. So I'm gonna go to down to the left a bit. Oh, I actually got that perfectly. So I'm gonna hold the feather and down and to the left. Okay, excellent. Apparently you can't jump over those armor statues. And of course, now I got a... I'm gonna get rid of these. I think they're sharks, but I think they're actually piranhas, but who really knows what they are? My judgment being based on, I was playing Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, and you get these echoes that look a lot like those things, and I think they're called piranhas in the game, so there's that. Oh, yeah. I'm not very good at doing this, unfortunately. These stupid piranhas are really annoying. Okay, cool. Let's try this one more time. I'm going to save state just in case I can't get this, so... Oh. Okay, I just did a Jesus jump instead to get through that, so... That's the best course of action. For God's sakes. Okay, cool. Just jump over that. I'm over here. That was kind of pathetic how poor I did that execution there, but... Jesus jumps are kind of tricky, in my opinion. The sound effect, uh, listen to the sound cue, I should say, is quite challenging. Anyway, this is level six. If I had to rate the levels, I would say level six is by far my least favorite dungeon. Unless you're speedrunning this game. Then it's probably one of the most fun dungeons because you skip about like two thirds of the dungeon just with the amount of glitches and exploits you can do. But it's still not a very fun dungeon. So equip the bombs here. I gotta put that right there. Then I'm gonna bomb this wall here. Need to have my feather out because I'll have to do some platforming in a bit. This is face shrine, as you can see from the mini map display. The level looks like a face. And if you're wondering what those like kind of rooms are in the top of the screen, that's actually where the platforming levels are. As you can see here. Dodge the the thing out of the fireball. 
not really on fire. I wish you could use your sword on whiz robes. It's the first level to introduce whiz robes. Like in every Zelda game, level six is usually when whiz robes are introduced. And this is no exception. Unfortunately, in this game, whiz robes do not, uh, they can't get hurt or harmed from Link's sword. They gotta use either four arrows or a bomb arrow kill them instantly. I prefer bomb arrows. Unfortunately, I'm low on arrows, but I do know this dungeon has, oops. This dungeon does have, uh, what am I saying? It does have like the flying arrows in this room directly to the left over here. So I'm gonna stock up on a couple of these. Or I can't, apparently. Let me go put a bomb down by the little eye switch. Okay, cool. Now we'll go into here. Can I grab the arrows and get out of here? I don't really need too many more. There's another arrow pick up later in the dungeon. Unfortunately, I gotta shoot the eyeball switch now, so... Actually, what am I doing? I could just do that. Oop. Sometimes I just don't remember I have the level 2 sword with me, and I coincidentally had full life. Oh well. Okay, now we have to go kind of towards the entrance of the dungeon again, and work our way towards the right side of the dungeon. By the way, this is level 2 power bracelet. Like I was saying, this dungeon is my least favorite. It also has the least useful uh, item in the game. The whole point to get the level 2 bracelet is so you can push the rooster statue back in the village. And that allows you to find a dead rooster corpse. And you have to go do a side quest in Signpost Maze to pay $300 to listen to some crappy song by a crappy frog. And then you can use the song to resurrect the rooster. Now, the rooster is actually kind of fun, but just that whole ordeal is not very fun in my opinion. So we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to pick up these elephant statues, kind of go into here. I'm going to set this up a little bit, so I'm going to knock these whiz robes around a little bit. Just want to save some bomb arrows. The... Yeah, they really nerfed whiz robes compared to the original Legend of Zelda. Where they took like I think blue ones took three hits to kill and they did like two damage or something like that on touch. Weren't very fun monsters at all. Okay, we're gonna go up this I guess stream. I don't know what you call it. And as you see from the wall here, we're actually gonna do some Jesus that Jesus super jumps. But first, we want to get this key in this chest here. We're then gonna do a super jump off this wall over here. Remember, it has to be a flat part, so this you can do it right here. And then I'm going to equip the power bracelet because this is the only chest in the game that you have to use a pot to open up the chest. In fact, there's an owl statue there given the hint. Okay, now I have to do a rather precise super jump here. I'm going to just save state just so because you can soft lock your game. I'm going to kind of go over to here. I think right around here is where you want to do this. Okay, perfect. As you can see, if you're too far to the left or too far to the right, you can actually get stuck in the wall, and then you have to save and quit. And if you're doing the save and quit category, well, your run ends right there. Not cool, huh? Anyway, we got the nightmare key, got the other key that we needed. Now we can do the rest of the dungeon. Level 6 is also kind of confusing because... If you kind of keep going straight up, like these rooms, up, 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 it repeats back to, like, I think this room... And it just is, it's a never-ending loop, so it's kind of a confusing dungeon. You also fight one of the strangest mini-bosses in the game. It's like this, this indescribable object throwing a ball at you, and you just have to keep chucking the ball back and forth. The Nintendo Switch version of the game made this boss a little bit more of a challenge, but that's not really saying much. It also made him look like a little bit more, I don't know how to describe it, just like... Kind of just easier to see what it is, even though it's still... I still question what the hell it is. If I go up here, notice on the minimap it's a black room. I guess I gotta show this off. It just repeats it back to here. Not that big of a loss. Anyway, we're gonna pick up this elephant statue, go down the stairs. I'm gonna go over here, jump around. Oh! Man, I cannot jump to save me. Okay, there we go. Let's take this safely, I guess. Slowly go across these ladders. 
Uh, I don't need to go over there. I just have to go to the right. So I have to gotta spawn these Zoles. Fun fact, I guess I could show this off. So I'm going to save state here. But if you jump into that, like, the gravity well, it actually takes you back to the entrance of the dungeon. I don't know how many people knew about that. I don't know if it's a glitch per se, but nevertheless, it's a thing to show off. I hope you found that entertaining, as I did. Can I get it? Oh, great. Kind of weird how whiz ropes can fall into pits, even though they seem to be hovering. This is, I think, Facade is his name. I think you can drop about three bombs before you... Uh, he starts talking. Basically says, my weaknesses, and then doesn't do anything. So... As I was saying, level 6 is my least favorite dungeon, has my least favorite item. It also has my least favorite boss in the game with Facade. He is the biggest joke that can be... Actually, I take the back. He's the second biggest joke in this game. The biggest joke, boss-wise, by far, is level 4, the Catfish boss. I don't know what they were thinking when they made that boss. I don't think they were thinking. It was just... It's a fish that just kind of sits in one spot, and then a couple of cheap cheeps come and attack you. And it's not hard to dodge him, and before you know it, he's dead. And before you know it, this video is actually over now. I hate ending these videos abruptly, but... Just so into talking, and then I get the instrument before I know it. So I guess I'll see you next video.